Hi kids, this is Grandma Jane and I'm um, filming from my own kitchen tonight because I'm getting a roast ready to show you how it turns out in my crock pot. So anyway, here it is. I've got like a three and a half, four pound roast. It's a um, called a pork shoulder. However, it can also be called uh, Boston butt, but I don't know why because it doesn't come from that area of the hog, but anyway I'm gonna take the net off of it just cut that right off I'm doing it a night ahead so it'll be super super tender tomorrow when I take it out of the crock pot and make it into sandwiches and I'm gonna put a rub on it okay first of all I'm gonna pat it dry Sorry, I'm trying to film alone and I don't have wonderful Megan to help film tonight, so bear with me. I'm gonna pat this roast dry. That way it will take on the rub better. It will hold the rub better. And I've got uh, garlic powder, let's see, chili powder, pepper, um, lemon pepper and a flavor enhancer and I'm gonna mix them all together and I did about a tablespoon of each just put them all into one bowl where I can mix them up okay and then I'm gonna just distribute it on the roast and pat it all over Get it in all the areas you can, and then flip it over. And the fat can stay on this roast. There's not a lot of it, and it's, it'll be just falling apart, and you can take it off real easily tomorrow. Now, you can do this in the morning as well, and eat it in the evening or afternoon. But with our time and our filming, it works out best for us to do it tonight. So, I've got all that on, that rub on real good pat it into it and I'm going to place it into the crock pot okay then I'm going to add a couple um, I'm going to wash my hands here first and I'm going to add a couple cups of water okay I got a couple cups of water in here I'm going to put that in the bottom there I'm also going to add, I think this is really good to add, is this little soy sauce. It just adds great flavor. And you can even kind of poke the roast if you want to, and that flavoring will go down into it and into the juice. So it'll be really good. Put the lid on. I don't look at it again. In my crock pot, I'm going to set it on warm. There's a, is one for keep warm and low and high and I'm gonna put it on low all night and check out it in the morning and I'm not gonna open the lid or anything and it will be wonderful so we'll see you at Aunt Annie's tomorrow for her. now we're cooking love you bye hey kids now we're cooking welcome to another episode of now we're cooking the cooking show for kids of all ages my name is Aunt annie i'm grandma jay and you are catching us in the midst of happy week we are thinking happy thoughts we are making happy food so far from the h of happy we've made hot fudge a big gigantic hot fudge sundae that was delicioso next we made asparagus from the a from the word happy We've got beautiful roasted asparagus here with lots of seasonings and Parmesan, olive oil. Very, very delicious. It did not take as long as we thought because the spears were so small. They were in under 10 minutes at 425. Bigger stalks, bigger spears are going to take a little longer, but watch them. You want them tender, but you still want them crunchy. Okay, you don't want to overcook them. We don't want to tire of the, to use the, this quote from that movie. Okay, now we're on to the first P of happy, and Jane's going to take the lead and tell you what she made um, for, the, for the letter, the first letter P of happy.
and then I sliced up onion as well, like a sweet onion, and just lay the slices on top and let it go all night. And since we're filming a little sooner, I thought it'd be better and tender and have it done for today. And that was on low starting at nine o'clock last night. Yes. Uh -huh. A couple of cups of water, mm -hmm. and you laid this, how many pound? Three? It was between four, three and four pounds. Shoulder three that they hours. also call a butt. Yeah. And then what time did you check it this morning? I checked it when I got up about seven and just turned it down to keep warm. I my mean, crock pot left it in there. It was just falling apart already. Oh, so, yeah. So now I'm going to take it out of the crock pot. I brought it over here. How well you can see me do this. I'm going to put it on a plate where I'm going to pull it apart. Uh, and I didn't cut any. There wasn't that much fat on it. And it all pulls off so easy. So I left it on for flavor. Take that out. Juice smells delicious. I don't know if you want to put any of the cold in a bowl. Yeah, I can do that. So to there you. it is. Still got the rub on and all. And basically, uh, look. Yum. And you know what I'm going to use for a condiment on my sandwich is John and Chris's mustard. Oh, that's your favorite. That is good Our good stuff. friends John and Chris make the most oh. wonderful, um, sweet, but yet with a bite, mustard. It is so delicious. They should market it. They mm -hmm. really should. Look how this is falling apart. They call it sweet oh. hot mustard because it's got a kick. And it's delicious with beef or pork, either one. Well, seafood too, and egg rolls, it's just delicious. I wish someone would invent smell-o-vision. Yeah. Smell what you <laughs> that would be made. great. Wouldn't that it? would be awesome. So it was just pulling apart. And um, then I chose to have either, like you can do a little slider type thing with a, a Hawaiian sweet roll of some sort to put them on. I like barbecue sauce on mine. I like coleslaw on mine too. Mm -hmm. And then I have a whole hard roll, and this is kind of good. You can also put more juice from the crock pot onto your pork. So any condiment you like, yeah. a, a mixture of or just plain ketchup, mustard, sweet hot mustard, maybe Dijon, barbecue sauce. There's umpteen varieties of barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Honey barbecue. What's your favorite kind? Um, uh, the horseradish mustard. I love that. And what's your favorite barbecue? Um, I like a barbecue. Uh, can I say the brand name? Well, go ahead. Like um, uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's. Mm -hmm. And That's which flavor? Yeah, like, yeah. like a honey one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And it's great with coleslaw on it or on the side with fruit, whatever. They're popular. And then you can use more juice and have a little, you know, uh, juice on the side to dip it in if you want to. So kids, depending what age you are, um, this is something you could start after maybe your caregivers go to work. You could put this in the crock pot on low all day long after you've, you've flavored it like you want to with some sweet onion on top. And then by the time your caregivers come home from work, you've got a wonderful pulled pork that you can either Eat it without any type of starch or bun or with whichever you prefer. I Obviously, it's it delicious with without. Of roasted potatoes or roasted vegetables. Yep. Would be good. Asparagus. Or actually, you could even put the vegetables in with the roast, cook mm -hmm. it all together. That's true. Yeah. And uh, I like the idea of coleslaw also as a cold side. I like it right on the sandwich anymore. And too. again, you'd have the option then of putting it on the sandwich, mm -hmm. just like our Rachel. Yes, I love that. Delicious. <laughs> Well, anything else you want to tell us about the pulled pork? Um, it's really tender to do it this way. It's safe because you don't have to use a stove or anything, oven or anything. What so. does pork usually cost per pound? Um, I'm not sure where it's at right now. I got. I should have looked at that. What are you Just have you gotten any for a while? Maybe. Are you lucky enough to get it for dollar ninety nine a pound? I'm thinking two Probably, bucks or maybe yeah. on yeah. sale. Because pork used long. to be a lot, lot cheaper than mm -hmm. beef, and I think that's still the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's they call it the other white meat. So. Yeah. Well, what way. would you say then in signing off? Well, I would say try to do something like this if you get a chance, and and I'll make somebody happy if you do. That's and we right. love you and stay safe. And we're so excited. Mm -hmm. We've still got two more letters in the word happy. And that makes us happy because we're going to get to cook even more happy things that make us happy to eat. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Remember, turn that frown upside down. Let a smile be your umbrella. Think happy thoughts. And you can't help then but to be happy. Okay? So we can't wait to see you next time on the next episode of Now We're Cooking.